Welcome to Tesla Stock News, brought to you by Oregon Cash Flow Pro. My name is James Barber, helping you maximize your cash flow. So, Tesla ended the day yesterday at 8.1119, a 7.82% drop during the market. That was the first uh, first drop in 10 days. We had 10 days of growth, maybe 11 days of growth. And then uh, finally we got a correction. That's a healthy correction. A lot of people got on asking us, what's going on with Tesla? Well, Tesla shot up 24% the, the week before. And uh, it's, it's only natural that it would pull back a little bit at some point. So there's not really anything underlying that. There's no bad news that came out that I'm aware of. In fact, there was more good news. We had some credit upgrades from Credit Suisse and from Bank of America. Yet, the stock price didn't go up to match that. Uh, just, just your typical healthy correction, in my opinion. Now, our thumbnail today was another capital raise. And uh, it was a picture of Elon tweeting. So I was kind of trying to show you guys. It seems that in, for Elon... Instead of tweeting that the stock price is too high, what he does now is he does a capital raise. And that helps to bring the stock price back down and it fills the coffers for Tesla so that they can keep expanding and building. And uh, Tesla Daily pointed out the other day, which is why I got this on, which is what made me think of it. Tesla Daily pointed out that typically the last couple of capital raises came right after some upgrades from the firms that were doing the capital raise that Tesla was using to do the capital raise. So, and that's happened on Tuesdays. So, increases on Monday, capital raise on Tuesday. So, that was something that he wanted to warn you about. I think it's something to keep in the back of your mind. I don't think that that's the case here. I think we've got the uh, price target raises because earnings is coming up and it's expected to be another record earnings. And we talked about this the other day, but analysts don't like to look foolish after a massive earnings beat. So they come out with increased price targets ahead of time in order to just get ahead of it. So you got a couple of different competing possible scenarios You'll have to try and decide what's best. But I do think it's important to be aware that those other capital raises did come on Tuesdays after price target increases from analysts. Now, like I said, I don't think that that's going to happen. I don't get the feeling that that's going to happen. The price has gone up substantially, though, really, really fast. And I'm sure Elon is thinking it's been up really, really fast. So we'll see where things end up. But we do expect a record earnings coming up at the end of this month, that could be in as little as two weeks. Could be as it could be in a week. I don't know how soon they normally announce it. I'll we'll have to dig into that. Find out how far ahead of time we actually know when the earnings report is going to be. Because uh, we're going to be on our we're going to be on the edge of our seat until that happens. So I'm viewing the dips like what happened yesterday as opportunities to buy in and be ready for that earnings expect uh, the earnings beat. Because after the earnings beat happens, I think we're going to see a lot more price target increases. There's going to be a lot more buzz around Tesla when they realize the profits that are coming out of Tesla now. You had all the FUD over the last year. Every time Tesla gets profitable, they say, oh, but that's because of the regulatory credits. And then for the last two quarters, Elon Musk has had massive bonuses that have been included in their earnings and so it's taken off of the profits we shouldn't see that we shouldn't see that in this one unless they split it up last time but i don't think they did i thought they i thought they had accounted for all of his bonuses that was paid out in stock which didn't actually cost the company money but they do have to put it on the books so something to look out for without elon on there probably going to have a pretty good pretty good earnings beat. So, with that, we're going to move on to our stock market watch. Thanks everybody for joining us. Now, go maximize your cash flow.